What do you think so far, Dal? Um, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far, trying to learn the new plays and everything, just trying to take it all in. Uh, you know, we talked on the conference call, I think, about you, know, you playing soccer back in high school and everything. And but Ben said he thinks, you know, even though you're a defensive tackle, that actually that kind of versatility can end up paying dividends just down the road, having played other sports. Do, do you feel like there are any skills from soccer or wrestling that actually help you in playing DP? Um, yes, I think wrestling has the biggest impact on football, but my football ability because um, as a defensive lineman, it helped me learn leverage for the most part. So I, could, I know how to play blocks a little bit easier because of wrestling and just the mental toughness it takes to do the sport. Everybody expects when you're a second round pick, they have a whole deep to tackle. You're going to come in and start. What's it like to come in knowing that that's kind of the expectation? Um, I just come in, just try to get better each and every day, and just there's some great veterans that I can learn from, and they can teach me a lot of things. and. Uh, the coaching staff and I just learn, hopefully I like, learn the defense quick enough and everything like that. And I'm just coming in and work every day like I want to, and we'll see what happens. Have you heard from some of the veterans on that defensive line yet? Uh, yes, I got to talk to a few of them uh, every now and again, but not, uh, lately we've been so busy with right. uh, Rick and Minicamp and things like that. You, 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 you hooked up with Snacks, I guess? Uh, yeah, Snacks was the first one I talked to. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was that conversation like? Um, it was... It was uh, just a normal conversation for the most part. He told me he was excited to get me here and I'll just to work with me and teach me some things. <coughs> have you watched Snacks? Do you know as a player? Do you have an opinion on well, Yeah, Snacks is a great defense alignment. He's just so aggressive up in the front and um, just his aggression. I just want to be able to play like him and I'll be happy. <laughs> Dalvin, does your, I know your athletic background includes uh, wrestling championships. Mm -hmm. Does it also include soccer? Um, yes, in high school, I played soccer. So how do those two help with football? Um, like I said earlier, I feel like uh, wrestling oh, had the biggest impact in wrestling because of the leverage you learn in wrestling and the mental toughness it takes to be a wrestler. Because wrestling is probably one of the most mentally draining sports it is and just the toughness it takes to do the sport day in and day out is just one of the hardest things to do. And soccer, I feel like the endurance side of it, just running down and up and down the field all day, every day, it gets you in shape for it. Do you How miss wrestling? You How big were you when you were playing soccer? Were you um, size or? I was probably around 270 playing striker. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you miss wrestling? Uh, yes, I miss Sounds wrestling. like it. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, uh, Y'all may know I, I won three state titles in Georgia, and um, it was just a fun sport just to have with your teammates and going out there and just enjoying the win. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get recruited by it, you know, any of the – Big wrestling schools at all for that? Or? Um, I got a few offers for from schools like Indiana, like uh, dual, like for wrestling, and football, and things like that. But um, I wanted to do football. I I, I could have did wrestling on the next level, but I felt like I wanted to do football. I, football was my first love. Why? Why was football your first love? Um, just growing up watching uh, my older brother and my older cousin play all the time, and just like watching Lawrence Taylor and Ray Lewis, uh, just film was them always playing hard day in and day out, just made me want to go out there and do what they did. If you had done wrestling, do you, do you think you would have been an like NCAA championship kind of contender? Um, I like to think so. I probably could have been a contender for the NCAA championship. I know you, you're going to play, obviously, wherever the coaches want you to play, but do you feel more comfortable at this point as a nose, a three technique, or someplace else? Um, just playing for Coach Saban, I'm pretty versatile at any position, so I'm comfortable wherever they want to put me. What do you think the biggest adjustment will be? You know, you know, to, to, Playing alongside this very veteran offense, the defense. Um, I think the biggest adjustment would just be the, a different playbook because uh, at them we had a pretty big playbook, you can say. And I'm just learning a whole new defense and things like that, and just getting used to it and uh, the terminology for the most part. Do you think the physical nature will be different, or do you think you can handle that part? Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty different, but I think I can handle it pretty well. Just style-wise, what are some of the similarities and differences between the city? Um, I feel like we're both aggressive. I'm pretty sure he's more aggressive than me because he's used to it. I probably have a little bit more nerves right now. And um, just just the way he comes off, I feel like uh, we'll complement each other well on the defensive line. What Landon told you to expect? Um, Landon told me just to come in and make sure I work like I always did at them and everything would be great. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to be able to play with Landon again. And you kept in touch with him while you were at Bama and he was up here? Yeah, for the most part, yeah, because uh, at Bama we used to play a lot of video games together and stuff like that because we came in together and everything. So I'm pretty close to Landon and everything. And, um, yeah, for the most part, I just kept in touch with him. You came in together? Oh, uh, We both came in Alabama together in 2012. Did you 
Did you always beat him in the video games? Uh, it depends. <laughs> they went back and forth. <laughs> What's it like to come up to, uh, come up here with a guy like uh, Wayne Gallman, considering you two have played in the past two college football playoff national championship games? Um, we were just talking about that yesterday, as a matter of fact. And um, it's, it's pretty crazy simply because, like, um, we were just talking about our run defense and their offense and things like that. And just talking about things we, we both could have did, did differently both years, I guess you could say. <laughs> Did you, did you guys have an encounter, uh, to follow up on that, did you guys have an encounter on the field uh, prior to this week? Like, did you tackle him at all? Uh, yeah, I tackled him a couple times in the field. <laughs> I know when we were on the draft, the, the Harvard thing came up. How serious was it? Did you, like, apply, get in, all that stuff, or was it just, like, a thought? Uh, with Harvard? Yeah. Um, I actually was a big academic person coming out of high school, and I still am and everything. And um, Harvard is one of those schools that you – dream of going to if you like you know, if you're big on academics and um they offered me a scholarship in high school and everything it was an academic athletic scholarship and mostly academics as you can say right. and um i actually i really thought about it in high school coming coming out of high school so you got in and all that you went yeah to... i was accepted in but um i just decided not to go, Did you ever go visit? <laughs> i didn't have a chance to go visit month. yeah <laughs> where did you end up well. studying hmm? what did you end up studying in college um in college uh, my first degree was in finance and my second was in financial planning all right. Backup plan. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Delvin. Right, thank you, Delvin.